What's going on everyone? Jeff here with Water Jug Fitness and thank you for tuning in to Hard Gainers episode 7. Right now I'm making a post-workout meal. Let's see what it is. Whoa. Alright. So I have 8 ounces of chicken, 1 cup of rice, green beans, and eggs. And again, I usually cook it on the stove. I'll reheat my food on the stove. Tastes much better. Who's that? Let's see who's coming in. Whoa! Look at that big guy. Who's that? Oh, don't flex on him. Don't flex on him. Hold your nation! Don't say that. Alright, but I gotta weigh myself real quick. And Alex will keep his damn mouth shut. And I'll keep recording. Uh, one second. What up, man? All right, so I'm currently at 177.4. That is going up from the last time, which was 175.8. My roommate Alex just weighed himself. Alex, what do you weigh at? 83. 183. Wait, 203. No, you're not 203. See, he's an idiot. I'm gonna eat this meal. I'll show you a chest workout, and we'll go from there. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so I started this workout with some incline dumbbell presses. I'm using 95 pounds, and today I worked on five sets of seven reps, anywhere from seven to 10 reps, really was my goal today. Uh, I know a lot of my videos, you know, a lot of my chest videos, I do dumbbell work more than barbell. It's really just preference. I prefer to use dumbbells, don't get me wrong, I use you know, I'll do flat bench, I'll do incline bench with the barbell, but uh, I don't know, I just prefer dumbbells. Then I moved on to this seated chest press, and I have a little foam pad that is at Lifetime Fitness. Uh, I don't, it, probably at your gym as well, but I just set it on the bench, and that's a lot of, that's going to allow me, or it allowed me to get a better range of motion. Uh, so it was really just, that was the focus here. I wanted to to be able to contract uh, my back or my scapula a little more and then just push. So I felt those. And again, I did five sets, about seven reps. Then I moved on to the pec fly machine. And again, five sets, about seven to 10 reps here. and. I don't keep my arms completely straight. Uh, there is a slight bend, and really I'm focusing on uh, squeezing with the chest. Uh, you might start to use a little bit of shoulders if you get too heavy. I've done it before, so just make sure you feel it in your chest and you should, be, you should be good. Then I did move on to some decline bench. Now I know I said at the beginning of the video I don't do a lot of barbell work, but I did. Uh, do some decline bench, five sets, seven reps. Then, to end my workout, I did a superset. So, I did these lying flat bench, you could call them, presses. And I just have two dumbbells, and I make sure my elbows touch the ground, and then, you know, push up, squeezing with your chest. So, I did anywhere from 10 to 15 reps for three sets. And then once these are done, I immediately went into a superset. This is similar to what you would do with the cable flies, but instead I use dumbbells. And again here, I'm focusing on bringing the weight in and up at the same time. I'm really trying to hit the inner chest. Then again, like I said, I did this additional three sets. So here is my second set. So it's just slow, it's controlled, there's focus, contraction. That's what I'm concentrating on here. You know, I could have went up in weight, but it's not what this was about. It's not what this exercise was about. I wasn't, you know, trying to ego lift here. I was really trying to feel it in my chest. This was 
really a pretty simple chest workout day. There wasn't a lot of complex movements. It was just focus on the chest. That's where I seem to get my best workouts. All right, and now we're going to a little bit of a physique update. So some of you kind of asked me, you know, what's your weight at? What does your physique look like uh, since I've been putting on weight? And this is kind of, you know, my attempt at that. Lighting could have been a little better, I understand. I'm still getting to understanding lighting and camera settings. So, and here I'm just using the GoPro, but uh, I'm still maintaining abs. I am adding weight, you will see a, uh, You'll see a weigh-in here in a few clips, but I am liking the progress that I'm making. All right, everyone, welcome back. I just finished up my meal prep, so I will show you what I meal prepped this week. So this week, I meal prepped eight ounces of chicken, one cup of green beans and a cup of rice for five days. And that's gonna be my post-workout meal or my dinner. Then I have 12 ounces of red potatoes with just uh, extra virgin olive oil. That's what they're seasoned in and salt and pepper. And then I have eight ounces of chicken and I will have vegetables with each of those meals but they wouldn't fit in the actual meal, so I just had to package them out right here. But something else that I'm going to start doing differently as well with my meal preps, just to kind of see how it goes and see if people respond to it or see if they like it, is on my blog, on the Water Joke Fitness blog, which I'll put a link down below, I'm going to put a picture of my weekly prep and I'm going to put exactly what I made I I probably won't put out like the entire recipe but I'll put you know with this many ounces of chicken or uh, vegetables the seasoning I used I will put all that all those instructions and I will also put the macros so you can kind of see what I prep on a weekly basis but anyways that is going to wrap it up for this video. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed. Any feedback, comments, always welcome. I love to hear it. I will respond. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. It will help me out. And I have nothing else. So, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. And that's all I have. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed.